Hi, I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine. Today, in Astronomy's video series, I'm going to talk about Galileo and his invention of the telescope. On August 25, 1609, the cosmos changed forever. On that day in Venice, Galileo unpacked his recently invented telescope, a leather-tooled 10-power instrument, with an aperture about the size of a Venetian crown, about two inches. Galileo was quickly called into the Doge's palace, where two of his friends met him, followed by an excited mob of council members who all reached out to the mysterious tube. The Doge, Leonardo Donia, received Galileo in the midst of his counselors, the Venetian naval commanders, and chiefs of the Venetian Council of Ten. Beneath Tintoretto's Triumph of Venice, which decorated the ceiling, Galileo introduced the Venetian leaders to what would become a new world of science. The group then climbed St. Mark's Campanile, where Galileo demonstrated the telescope to them. Galileo showed his guests distant views of Padua, of Treviso, of Canegliano, which was more than 50 miles away. They saw ships on the horizon of the Adriatic that would not appear to the naked eye for another two hours. They observed parishioners entering a church on the island of Murano, which were invisible to the eye alone. The military value of the instrument was obvious. In an instant, Galileo shocked and stunned them as if by magic. It was a triumph of Venice. In the Doge's palace, Galileo knelt before Donia and said, I, Galileo Galilei, the humble servant of your highness, now bring this artifice. Judging that this instrument is worthy of being received by you, I give it to you as a present. In the Senate chamber, underneath Tintoretto, Galileo was asked to stay. The Doge doubled his salary, gave him an appointment for life, and a bonus amounting to a year's salary. Galileo was hailed as a genius. Three weeks earlier, he had proven that he was. Galileo was born February 15, 1564 in Pisa in the Duchy of Florence. He died at age 77 on January 8, 1642 at Arcetri in Tuscany. Galileo's father Vincenzo was a well-known musician, a lutenist. His mother, Giulia Amananti, was a bitter, shrill woman who came from a high social status and believed her husband never earned enough money. Galileo was the first of seven children in the family. When Galileo was eight, his family moved to Florence but left him with a tutor. Two years later, he was reunited with the family. After his youth, he was educated at the University of Pisa. After studying mathematics, he was appointed at the university, afterward moving to the University of Padua. He taught geometry, astronomy, and mechanics until 1609 when lightning struck. In late July 1609, Galileo, spurred on by a desire for more money, with the anxieties of any 45-year-old, traveled to Venice. One day after he arrived, he heard a rumor that nearly drove him crazy. A device made with ordinary spectacle lenses, fashioned within a tube, could magnify objects at a distance, making them easy to see. A Dutchman named Hans Lipperhey had presented such a tool to Count Maurice of Nassau, and toy telescopes were even selling on the streets of Paris. This was an instrument Galileo had thought of inventing. Stunned, he raced back to his Padua workshop. Before leaving Venice, however, he played a masterful political card. Hearing that a Dutchman was coming to present a telescope to the Doge, he had a friend who worked for the Doge, Sarpi, suspend the Doge's appointments. Galileo now had an opportunity. August 2nd and 3rd, 1609 was a day of scientific grandeur. In his Padua workshop, Galileo tinkered relentlessly with lenses and tubes, employing all manner of combinations of convex and concave until he produced a crude telescope with instinct and bits of information about the telescopes from Holland. In an amazing 24-hour period, Galileo reinvented the telescope independently. Fifteen years later, he wrote, The night after my return, I solved it. Another special moment arrived sometime during the autumn of 1609. On a crisp, cool night, Galileo climbed to the roof of his Padua house and began to inspect various buildings with one of his telescopes. He looked for a time at the domes of the nearby San Antonio Basilica and then slowly moved the telescope from religion to science. 
from the church domes to the moon. In the history of humanity, no one before him had seen what Galileo stared at. The moon was rough, he wrote, full of cavities and prominences. Telescopic astronomy was born. And that's the story of how Galileo independently invented the telescope and almost as if by accident saw the moon for the first time. You know what came after. Until next time, I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy Magazine. I'll see you out under the stars.